four years. The only way to renew your Cisco certification or by doing either the same level Cisco exam or try to do an exam that is level above. That means if you want to, to recertify CCNA, you could either do CCNA again or try to do a CCNP exam or CCIE. I am CCIE and I will show you how I am doing about my recertification and why I feel it is a bit of cheat compared to traditional exam only recertification part. I'm talking about using continuous education points or CE points or CE credits. I will be looking into it from my point of view as a CCIE who needs to recertify by summer 2023. I will show you where you can find courses or live session that have CE credits and where you could easily collect some points to help with your recertification. Where to see your current point score and how to submit completed course to get CE C points or C credits assigned to you. And at the end of this video, I will show you how to gain 40 and 48 CE credits and learn something new. Please, before I continue, hit the like button and subscribe to help me grow this small and humble channel. So, a few years back, there was an announcement from Cisco that you could now use Cisco Continuous Education credits to recertify. You can still do it in a traditional way where you can select the Cisco exam on the same level or the level above to renew your certification. But now you can also combine a Cisco exam and CE points or just collect enough points to recertify without taking any exam. Now let's look at the recertification process on the Cisco website. I will post all the links to the website I show here below this video. So let's start with red certification policy. Red certification policy is under the training events and webinars and training certification on the Cisco website. I will post the links under this video. If we scroll down for the red certification requirement, here we can clearly see, clearly see what are the options. Yeah, so we have all level of the uh, exams, associate, specialist, professional, CCIE and CCD. And we can see what are the options if we want to recertify. So you can take the traditional path and take the exam only. So as we discussed it, associate, you will pass another associate or you, you will pass any of the exams uh, above and you will recertify. So that's the traditional way. The continuous education options show you how many credits, the CE credits, you need to earn to recertify. So for example, for the associate or CCNA, if you earn 30 CE credits, you will automatically recertify. So if you take any course or you will sit any Cisco live session or uh, you will attend face-to-face -face, uh, course provided by third party, where are the CE credits? and you will earn 30 or more credits, you will automatically recertify. So it is quite nice options, I would say. Uh, we can see that the specialists require 40, but if you move to the professional, you now need 80 credits, or you can combine the credits and one of the exams. So you can earn 40 credits and um, try the professional concentration exam. And in my case, for the CCIE, there is even more options because you need to earn 120 CE credits, there are another three different options how you can combine it with the traditional exam. Either get 120 points or pass a technology core exam and 40 points, two separate professional exams and 40 points, or pass one professional concentration exam and earn 80 CE credits. And I think for CCDE, it is same. Yeah, it looks like exactly the same as for CCIE. One thing which uh, is also nice that all the exams are now three years valid. So you have three years to recertify. Uh, another place where you can look for the amount of the credits or the CE credits you need for the recertification is on the Cisco um, 
continuous education program or the CE program, where it's the same table slightly uh, uh, in a different shape, showing the exactly the same number of CE credits you need to recertify any any of your any of your exams. Okay, uh, so many of you um, may ask where you can see the credits or where you can uh, find out if I take this course or if I attend this webinar or this live session how many credits I can I can earn. The place I usually go is continuous education program which is the uh, part of the Cisco website where you can log in with your Cisco ID and in an item catalog you could see let you could see all the different trainings, activity, Cisco Live training, instru instructor-led training with the with the awarded CE credits. So, if you want to, you can you can put it from highest to lowest, or from lowest to highest. See, you can see there's a, even things where you can earn like two credits, and highest I think is a sixty-four. So you can you can go you can go through this and see. <coughs> How many credits are awarded for each of the training or, or the live session and if you want to know more so for example let's have a look at the let's have a look at this one so it says it you can uh, oh, no let's pick some training this says it says you can you can earn 50 credits so if you look at the view details I hope it will load up yeah so Cisco Learning, uh, so you can see it's been delivered by third party most of the times. Yeah, so it's a bit, so a different company around the globe who deliver this this training. It's a it's a classroom, a virtual classroom, five days, and once you complete it, you will receive you will receive the fifty credits or fifty C credits. Uh, if you go back to continue, if I go back to continue education program, uh, I go back to my dashboard. You obviously can see all my certification here, which I passed over the years. But here at the bottom, you could see my credits uh, earned so far. Uh, please dis disregard it, the first line, which was my mistake. I will explain that. But I've passed definite associate fundamental course. I've earned forty eight credits. And I've also attended five day on-site uh, course, uh, which was delivered by, by third party, or what it's called instructor-led training. And after the completion of this five day course, I've received 32, 32 credits. Uh, and this will uh, add up to my red certification. So uh, at the moment I have uh, 50, 80, 80 credits at the moment. Uh, why I have this one here because when I completed the course or oh, when you go and complete any of the courses I even if it's a Cisco deli direct delivery or instructor light what you have to do you have to come here to this <coughs> website and submit your item where you put the name of the course when, when you done it by who was it done and you submit the you submit you submit it and they will check it that you really attended and you completed it and they will assign the points to you when i was adding the my definite association fundamental course i've done a mistake and i selected the wrong item so this been denied so it was mine just just my fault uh, so so this is where you can submit your submit your points once you complete the course but also where you can go and look up look up the points uh, if, if you search for some of the trainings and you want to see if there are any C credits for uh, another uh, this was the page we, which we open another place where you can look for the for the C credits is the C Cisco learning network store this is the place also where you can take the continuous education credits and you can see that if you if you purchase from Cisco CCNA prepar preparation bundle and you complete the course you do all the stuff there you can earn 30 credits and this would recertify you for CCNA if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so if you earn 30 credits, it will get you recertified for, for CCNA. I know uh, it, at, mo at the moment it's a discount, it's, it's, so it's roughly $1,000, which is quite a lot for a lot of people. But if your company have a training or education budget, 
you you may ask your your employer look uh, i would like to use it i would like to use it for any of the cisco cisco uh, cisco courses that's been delivered by cisco it will not help it will help me to learn something new plus uh, i will get uh, i will get recertification once once i complete once i complete the uh, the course and here again there is a large variety of the courses yes yeah? so starting from 30 points uh, uh, that's a 48 yeah so um, cyber security and course so those are ccnp now 64 64 so you can and lots of lots of credit but it will cost you lots of bucks i'm 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 not denying that yeah so it's a it's a best if you if you can offset it somehow and for example ask your employee to pay for it if he can now uh I, because I am CCI, the place I can see my points is on the CCI uh, certification tracker. Here I can see, so I'm still certified uh, until 2023, uh, Ju July 2023. And if I hover over this little question mark, I can see the courses I've already completed. So those are the credits we see on the page before. Uh, and and it says I have 80 points and this is the options I have if I want to recertify. Obviously I can take a lab again uh, or take the CCBE written exam or take one of the core exam or one of the concentration exam or I can go and still try to earn somewhere 40 credits and that would give me 120 points and that would mean I would recertify. As you can see, for anyone who is studying, failing is up. It's a normal path. Yeah. So, so so many of us fails the exams. I failed my CCIE twice before I managed to pass it. I failed lots of lots of the other exams. So don't be shame if you if you if you fail if you fail your exam. Um, one thing I would like to show you here is so yeah so track your progress because I'm CCIE I have to go. And, and check my CCIE, uh, CCIE certification tracker to see my CE points that are currently being counted towards my certification. But if you are not CCIE, you can go to the certification tracking system. I see if I can open it here. So now we are at a credential status or CERT metrics website. This is the place where you go if you have your CCNA or CCNP exam or certification completed you should be able to see here all your active or valid uh, certification or the certification which are in the progress what you should also see here is your ce credits um, i don't see them here because as per the website i need to check my cc i need to check my ccie portal to see my ce credits but for those who are not ccie yet or uh, the just have ccna or ccnp uh, they need to check they need to check this uh, certain metrics website which they should be able to see the CE credits that are being counting towards the recertification now when we talk about the credits and, and the points I've collected so far for my recertification one of the courses I've done was the Cisco DevNet Associate fundamental course which you can access it on a DevNet website and i think it is little gem it's a great course with a great topics to to get you started with the devnet uh, it is really well done and if you complete this course you can earn 48 credits which is pretty a lot as per the red certification policy this will recertify your ccna or if you have any specialist exams it will also recertify you and all help you with your CCNP. Uh, this DevNet course is all online, delivered by the DevNet portal. It, the price for it, it is very good. It costs $99 per month, and uh, or you can buy three months or six months. I'm not sure how this whole works because I've purchased one month plan for $99. But to be honest, if you go through the whole course and do it properly, and if you have a work and 
certificates and so on, uh, you are not able to do it in one month. So I've extended it twice for $49. So I pay $200 for three months. So yeah, I've done it this way. I've done it this way. So pay roughly $200 for, for three months to access the course. And after the completed the course, I've earned the 48th grade. I can only highly recommend this course. It is very good. It is challenging for someone who is not developer or doesn't do code uh, like me. Um, it's a very, very good, very good course. You can see all the uh, all the topics here listed below. It's very well done. There are lots of labs there which you can do with the hands-on, which is also great. So I can only highly recommend you to do this course for quite good money and you can earn 48 points. Now, we have seen what are the other options to recertify your exams or certification? I will not be lying that attending a course is a different level to studying for the exam and then sitting an exam and passing it. In terms of learning and preparation, it is, on a, it is not the same. But for example, attending a face-to-face -face course with other engineers give you other benefit. I work as an architect and a discussion with other professionals about their solution is always a great way to learn something new. And for example, completing an online course or attending a webinar is a great way to earn some CE credits and learn something new. I will be honest, with work and two kids and hobbies, it is demanding to constantly keep on top of your certification, especially where our work requires constantly new areas to be explored, DevNet, clouds, security, and others. I personally still have not decided if I will go for another CCIE or CCD, or maybe just concentrating on my YouTube channel. So to have a multiple options on how to take your recertification or keep your certification valid is welcome by me. Thanks for watching. Good luck with your certification and I'll see you next time.